G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Enshrouded. Hope you guys are doing well, and as you can see, we are in a different biome. In the previous episode, we managed to make it out here into the Pillar of Creation. Um, towards the end of the previous episode, however, I did die down there in the Shroud, because, well, I suppose I didn't really uh, expect to not find my way out pretty quickly. Uh, plus, uh, there is a thing to do here, the blacksmith's request, something to do with that letter, and we're trying to sort of make our way out there. Um, but yeah, before we can do that, we need to recover all of our stuff, so uh, that's our first objective. Uh, and yeah, we'll uh, also just tag the blacksmith's request here. We do have the cauldron for the alchemist nearby as well. Uh, but yeah, one thing at a time, I guess. So, um, before we jump down there, let's actually consume some stuff that's going to help us with surviving a little bit more. So, uh, let's just have a piece of meat. We'll go with the survival flask. Uh, we'll have some chamomile tea. And we'll also have a hazelnut as well, just to uh, give us a bit of a boost in damage. Now, uh, I'm also going to try and float my way uh, to this sort of, I don't know what you call this, this, uh, yeah, this safe, safe spot <laughs> in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to descend from that place, because uh, if I can figure out how to get back up from the base, then everything's going to be a lot easier for us. Uh, and then we should be able to sort of go in and out of this spot to uh, make sure that we can sort of survive the shroud a little bit more. Okay, that's all of our stuff. Uh, and yeah, we need to, I would say, go here. Well, I guess it's somewhere in the Umber Hollow. Um, yeah, locations down below. We just need to remember this spot though, so I will probably just... Oh, actually, it's relatively easy to know where it is. It's just this little section here that juts out, so I just need to remember that that's where we need to be if we do need to get back out. Um, and yeah, definitely doable to try and climb back out, so... Oh, hang on. I do see a little bit of lava there. Definitely don't want to go in there. Um, that makes crossing a little bit of an issue. Let's just explore around. See what's available in the area. Got the ruins of a town here. We've got critter nests with no critters though. So, a bit of a surprise that we haven't been attacked yet. Got more stuff here. Jasper Isles. And another question mark over here. Let's have a read. To Father, I know we didn't part on good terms, and you know I'm bad with words. When I look at the sky, I recall how you taught me to glide. Remember how I was so scared to jump, to drop down the ledge of the harbor? You were there. He held my hand, guided my strike when I hammered my first iron. Sparks flying. He never wavered. I didn't mean to raise your forge and burn at all. I was angry, livid. I have a mother's temperament, as you always say. I'm sending new smithing tools. They're good, really good. I tried them. Right, I'm stalling. We both know I'm not good at goodbyes. A true Anders at heart, like mother. Rochelle. Smithing tools? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm definitely interested. Uh, maybe it's somewhere around here, then. Apparently, it's somewhere above. Oh. This is the guy shooting pesky arrows at us. Just grab all of that. There's something to read here. Downstream of something foul to all 
who use to fish in these waters, there is a blight further upstream. Oh, hang on. Let's just clear up the area a little bit. To all who used to fish in these waters, there is a blight further upstream. I've seen livestock and woodland creatures wash past in the rapids on occasion. However, yesterday I'd thought I'd hooked a large catch. When I reeled it in, it was a rotting corpse corrupted by some kind of blight. Its skin and bones twisted and barely recognizable. As I stood there in shock, two more surfaced and floated by me. What kind of destruction is befalling these lands? Right, um... Is that the other question mark? No. So apparently, whatever I'm looking for should be slightly above. So yeah, let's just venture in. Oh, okay, it is a, a shroud root. And should be able to take care of this one pretty easily. give us that skill point and clear up the shroud a little bit as well that's nice um i was thinking about just going back and um you know recharging a little bit oh i guess maybe that isn't the question mark though so there must be something else in this area that we're looking for Okay, we've reached the location, apparently. But I'm not sure what we're looking for. Oh, maybe it's that. Our dearest Amber, wherever your spirit walks, please know that you've shined brighter than the ancient flame whilst you've blessed our lives. Uh, I wonder if I should be digging that. Feels a little bit bad, but... We have had situations where... Uh, I thought there were graves, and then it turns out that there was stuff to be found buried inside, so... Um... Here, maybe this is the thing. A chosen gravesite, Amber was found dead in Surat's Rest. She'd escaped there, hoping for a better life, but loud and righteous girls like her don't last long in a pit of vipers. We are both consumed with grief, but her mother can barely get out of bed. As husband and father, I have agreed to pick a place where we can lay her to rest. I think the tree behind our home will do nicely. Quiet orchard by the river. Her favorite place to sit and ponder. She's so bright, so well-spoken. We are nothing without her light and grace. Deciding what to write on her tombstone is pure torture. My heart feels so heavy, it might have turned to stone. Jeez, that's a little bit sad. Uh, and I've just desecrated the... <laughs> the grave as well. I feel even worse now. Um, let, let's not dwell on that, shall we? Um, okay, so there's something over there. That must be the smithing tools that we're looking for. So we're still getting a thing that's saying that whatever we're looking for is uh, supposed to be above us, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Nice smithing tools. So now we should be able to go back to Oswald and check on 
new stuff that he might be able to make. Fowler boots. Fowler boots? Um, anyway, let's take that. We'll compare. So... Yeah, it is better, actually. So, let's put that on. I know that we haven't really made... Uh, oh, hang on. No, we, we have just made the adventurer boots recently, haven't we? But this is definitely better, though. Gives us 16 physical resistance, plus 3 stamina, 2 mana regeneration. Couldn't really care less about the mana regen, but stamina regen will be pretty good. So, alright, let's look around further. I probably could have uh, come through here to try and get to the smithing tools. Another letter. Where are you, my sister? Dearest Lupa, when we got separated, I was beside myself with fear. I searched and searched for what felt like days, only to encounter... Uh, Radalton, a thief from Umber Hollow, who said you'd been taken by the contractor. Why is he taking children down into that wretched place? Despite his cruelty, this thief assured me you were still alive, albeit a prisoner. He promised to slip you this note, sister. I know you well enough to say that you will not remain shackled for long. When you do escape, return home and we shall have our revenge. Lovingly, Kendall. Okay. Yeah, it must be some kind of prison, this place. Gotta be a little bit careful here. We are at six minutes on uh, our shroud timer. Okay. I don't know why that was glowing. check on what's up here just in case I haven't actually seen these things fly before so that's kind of new Okay, he's clearly bugged out. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go back to Jasper Isles, uh, just so that we can recharge on our shrouded timer, and, uh, that should help us survive a little bit longer, if I can actually figure out how to get back there. Hmm, maybe this way? Um, so, I don't think I'll be able to jump that. I have to go through here.
Oh my god. Alright. Landing exactly where you want to land is a little bit different. Uh, sorry, difficult at times. There we go. Yeah, it's feeling a lot better. There's more stuff over here. We may as well check out. Yeah, I could have missed this. Umber Hollow Rumors. Hello, Emma. It was strange meeting you in the market, somewhere you should not have been in the first place. But I managed to slip this note into the shipment to Umber Hollow and hope you find it before someone else does. Even though we only spoke briefly, I could tell you are a decent woman. So the rumors of Umber Hollow being a deplorable place where cruelty abounds cannot be true, can they? I have heard so many stories of thievery and corruption. I sincerely hope we can both come to an understanding of one another now that the world is changing before our very eyes. We might just need one another to survive. Please write me back from Carlos. Twenty power on that one. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, okay, no. Ours is still better. I'll delete this as well. Yeah, looking good. Right, um... Do I want to head back now? Or do I want to press on to try and reach some of these areas? I don't know, I feel a little bit greedy uh, with all of the stuff that we have at the moment. Plus, we've got the, um, the smithing tools, which we can bring back and uh, tinker around with. So let's go home and uh, we'll plan for our next adventure. I'm just sort of looking around the various sort of question marks that we've got near the edges of spaces that we've already explored. This is by far the, the biggest thing here, as above so below. I have no idea what that's about, but anyway. And we've got a lot of stuff to do, like, you know, there's farming, uh, so, yeah, all of our stuff is almost ready. I guess not everything's ready, uh, so we'll probably wait a little bit more. Let's grab some water, do some repairs, we'll have a chat with Oswald, and yeah, we'll check out what new stuff he'll be able to make. I'm sort of hoping that uh, we'll be able to unlock the ability to make bronze sometime soon. And that way we can sort of upgrade our pickaxe. Well, not exactly upgrade it. Hopefully we can get a new pickaxe is what I'm saying. Mystery solved. Smithing tools for me. How strange. Well, I have plenty of use for them. Lost my old set in a fire. Set them down next to me, will ya? Thanks a lot, Flameborn. Let's use them to craft new armor. Ah, oh, sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Original letter found. What do we have here? A real letter you found? Addressed to me? Rochelle. Thank you, Flameborn. I will cherish this, always. Uh, hang on. Oswald Anders, yeah, okay, so it was his home, actually. And that was his daughter that he buried there. Which, uh... <laughs> the, we, 
we immediately desecrated her grave. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's put this down. Yeah, it's, it's becoming a bit of a tight squeeze in here. But somewhere there shouldn't be too bad, right? So now we should be able to make some more stuff. Surprisingly, we still only have the one recipe here in the forge. Uh, let's have a chat. And let's check out what we can craft. Yeah, look at this. Guardian set and the mercenary set. Yeah, the mercenary set looks very... Uh, you know, like has a very dirty aesthetic to it compared to the Guardian set. Um, I might go with Guardian, actually. Let me just do a comparison of the physical resistance. Yeah, as I thought, it, it is giving us the same. It's just different, um, different buffs that go with it. So if we go with the Guardian stuff, uh, maybe this is more of a tankier build, actually. It's physical resistance plus health. This one gives us stamina and health. Damage against melee foes. Plus three block. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with a mercenary set actually, guys. I, I, I initially thought the guardian set looked nicer, but stat-wise, I think the mercenary set uh, makes a lot of sense. So we'll work ourselves towards that. Um, bronze is a requirement now. So, yeah. Don't know how we're going to sort of unlock that, but just looking at other stuff that might be available to us, but doesn't look like there's anything else. Um, I should maybe double check on the smelter to see if we've got any other recipes. No. Okay. I wonder if it's because we need to somehow get bronze first. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. We might not be ready to make some of that stuff just yet, so... Let me grab some more water. And, uh, water is a bit of a problem. I've feel like having a well, uh, or not having a well, is sort of preventing us from deciding when to move. Uh, I would like the ability to have a water source set up nearby before we do a big move. Okay, this is all not ready yet, so I'm gonna wait a little bit to have a sleep. Get rid of all this night, this darkness. Um, do we need to craft anything? Maybe more chamomile teas and stuff? Since we've got the water for it. A little bit of the water. So, Rubos Tea. That gives us plus three endurance, plus seven stamina recharge. It's pretty good, actually. But no, let's go with some more chamomile teas. Um, yeah, that, that should be enough. So, indigo plants, sage leaves, perhaps maybe we should try and propagate the sage. Sage seedlings. Need some bone meal for that. We have bone meal in here. Certainly do. So let's throw that in there. So yeah, we should get a few seedlings here. Um, I'm sure we'll find some more sage as we explore, though. Um, and 
then over here, this was doing chamomile, and now we've got plenty of chamomile seedlings, so we should hopefully start growing some more chamomile sometime soon. Uh, I'm gonna just tidy up our inventory. few bits and pieces here that need a, a home. Uh, I'm just gonna throw metal scraps in there. Critter parts. Actually critter parts we can just convert into like bug dust. And I'm hoping that we have a home for bug dust. Or we might not have a home for bug dust. Maybe not. Um, I'll just throw that in here. Ammonia glands. Maybe water might be ready. Let's just quickly grab that. I do want to just um, dump some water into our two planters here. We are sort of low on that front. Actually, we've got a little bit here. Can I maybe just split that as well? Alright, this is almost there. Uh, just sort of thinking about whether or not I need to do anything else here before we get moving again. I'm uh, thinking maybe Flask of the Fell. So let's have a chat with Balthazar about that. Yeah, I've got plenty of ingredients. Uh, but one thing that I am worried about is getting ourselves some wax and some honey. So we're just going to look around the area to see if we can find any hives. Uh, and I want to try and get these. Mark this down, actually. Yeah, there aren't too many hives, I don't think, nearby.
Okay, so while we're here, just gonna stash what we have found. Um, we have a space for honey. Yes, we do. Actually, didn't even... Oh yeah, I did pick up some honey. I was uh, gonna say, maybe we didn't get any honey. We just got the wax. Throw that in there, and let's just grab a little bit more grilled meat. Oh yes, and we've got the grilled bird meat now. Plus three constitution for 10 minutes versus thr uh, sorry, 30 minutes, which is nice. Um, would have been nice to get a little bit more HP, but it's all right, I guess. Um, trying to think of what I want to make, maybe more roasted corn cobs. Got plenty of corn cobs at the moment. Uh, how are we doing here? Almost there. All right, well, I guess I'm not going to wait around for that. Uh, let's head back out and yeah, I'm going to continue where we left off. Uh, and well, luckily this is sort of on higher ground, right? So I'm hoping to glide my way as much as possible up north. Otherwise, we could go down south and hit up all of these question marks here. Um, let me have a look at our journal. A black cauldron for the alchemist. Tanning station. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go for the black cauldron and see what we can do on that front. Uh, and yeah, we might be able to also hit the obelisk. It is a bit scary though, because this is all shroud, I feel. So, finding a spot where we can be sort of relatively safe is uh, it's a little bit difficult. We do have the ability to make one more uh, flame altar, so I'm just going to prepare ourselves here. And yeah, what might be good is if we find a spot out there that's out of the shroud uh, and outside of a town, hopefully we can then build a flame altar and that way we won't have to start from here every single time. Uh, let's get prepared here, so Flask of the Fell and all of our foods. And yeah, we still have Shroud of Protection, so that's good. Yeah, we'll just keep going this way. Oh, what? <laughs> oh man, alright. That is not great. Uh, at least our stuff spawns up here and it's not like impossible to get back to it. Plus we didn't really have much on us anyway. Eh. Interesting. So I'm guessing I have to go to Jasper Isles and um, we're gonna have to work my way up north from there. We did waste some foods and other things, like all of the potions and stuff. So, a bit of a shame. I think what's a better idea is if we try to work our way up to this, like, safe area here, and then we can jump up from there. Complete failure. Right. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, 
Lord. On way camp. Yeah, we were here the other day while we were fumbling around trying to get out of the, the place. I think what would be a good idea is for us to just get out of the shroud once more. Patient. Again, wasted foods and stuff. Oh my god, right. It's making it a little bit difficult to, to get our stuff here. Well, arguably I didn't really need to go for our stuff because <laughs> we don't really have a lot of stuff in the first place. So yeah, if we go through here, I'm thinking maybe we'd just be able to continue north. Hopefully. Like there's anything interesting down there. I feel like we can make that jump. Nice. big structure over here. Also trying to look for actual pathways. I'm not really spotting any. Yeah, this might actually lead us up. And uh, if it takes us out of the shroud, that's even better. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, so... Yeah, this could be a good place for us to set up a flame altar. 
and we can simply take down the previous one because I don't think we'll need to be going back there anymore. Although, I mean, when we do decide to go south, it might actually be useful to have that flame altar. Perhaps maybe we can just leave it there for the time being. Level 20. Now this is a first. Okay, not too difficult. But I can see them being a bigger problem in larger numbers though. Almost like some kind of a nest up here. Right, um, well the most important thing is, let's set up an altar, we'll commune, and yeah, that way if we do die we'll start from here. Uh, perhaps maybe getting ourselves to the obelisk is a better goal. As opposed to trying to find the cauldron. I feel like the cauldron could take uh, the entire episode, perhaps maybe even the next one. Could go back here and look around a little bit more, but um, I think it's probably better if we go this way. I'm just trying to see if I can spot any points of interest in the shroud. A little bit difficult to tell what's there. Uh, it's also very difficult to know if you're going into lava or not until you really just pass through the shroud. <laughs> so <laughs> already died once from doing that. Ooh, what is this? Oh yes, yes, yes. I can see what this is going to give us. So basically, tin and copper combined, right, should give us some bronze. So let me actually mark this down, because um, it's definitely an important resource. Yeah, so somewhere up there should be the obelisk. So I won't worry about mining we are in the shroud and would prefer knowing where we can actually exit the shroud before ah, ah okay 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 maybe we don't even need this one here guys maybe we can out maybe we can even set up a uh, a better one out here sure it's not on high ground but I think it's a little bit further into the shroud than um, any of the other spots. Plus, we've got access to get tin from here. Ooh. I'm interested in hunting these things. Nice. What do we get? A bird meat. Yeah, there it is, up there.
I seem to always have a problem trying to do a merciless attack on these tiger looking things. Don't know what's going on there. Perhaps maybe it's a bug or something that might need to be fixed before full release, but is this copper? Yeah, just normal copper. I'll mark it down though. And yeah, I'm thinking maybe we should be setting things up over here when we get the chance. Um, this is probably a good place to keep uh, an altar, to be honest, to try and go south. I'll take this one down. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab ourselves uh, another obelisk. Well, I don't really know what we're doing exactly by... Um, checking these obelisks aside from just marking down where they are on the map. Yes. Give me that sweet, sweet bird meat. Fossilized bone arrows. Yep, yeah, we've seen fossilized bone before. Hmm, interesting. Confusion above all. We meant to decipher the ancient language on our expedition. My findings so far. The little symbols that look like a sleeping fae deer means fire. Or something. I humbly suggest these symbols were constructed in the most obscene fashion to purposefully ridicule the researchers. Perhaps it's true that, uh, sorry, perhaps it's true what the town folks say, and the ancients truly intend to keep their secrets forever. I wonder what they're trying to hide. Lorraine Krim. Bit of straw. Not sure if I've seen straw before, actually. Alright, um, I'm just sort of thinking if there's any offerings and stuff that we could take. A breath of light, fading. We've been split, ripped apart like a twin-headed eel. The disco uh, discordance in our midst sunders our youngest from the em Empyrean. Empyrean? A new chapter at last. They wish to protect the ephemeral flame inspired by the heartlings and fireflies of humankind. We will all shift and fall. At last we stumble. Hmm. I guess because we are flameborn, that's why we are able to read what the symbols mean. That, that's, again, that's only my guess, but... Antiseptic, those are very important. Okay, um, I think it's probably a good idea for us to to get ready to make another flame altar here. And, uh, finding bits of stone is quite important because these things, they're mostly going to be limestone, which is not really helping us. Why am I... Why am I doing that like... I'm fighting something. Alright, and let's do a flame altar, but I won't be able to place it down though until I take one of these down, right? So, let me head back to this one. And let's actually take this down. Extinguish. And then from here, it shouldn't really be too difficult to try and get back down there, so...
Yeah, and since we're not in any real danger of succumbing to the shroud, I might as well spend a little bit of time gathering some of these uh, mint mushroom leaves, I think. I'm not entirely sure what we need the mint mushroom leaves for, but... Uh, or the meat, rather. But I'm sure the game will tell us sooner rather than later, since we're already in this biome. Okay, up we go. And as for where to set up the altar, there's a good question. I suppose it doesn't really need to be anywhere specific. We could just place it down wherever. So, this seems like a good enough spot. Brilliant. Okay. So, let me head back home since it's getting dark and... Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping all of the chamomile is ready because I really want to gather all of that. And we've got to obviously start sowing more seeds. Oh, you know, I, I should be focusing on getting some water before I start because by the time I'm finished, I think I should be able to grab some more water. Oh, and the tin. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if uh, I've got new recipes now. I need to check, actually. Yeah, we've got tin bars and now bronze bars as well. So to make bronze bars, we need tin bars. And to make tin bars, we need wood acid, charcoal, and tin ores. We do have the ores, and we can get some more. And I'm thinking, guys, uh, this could probably be a good opportunity for us to sort of uh, do what I did last time, which is I'll spend a little bit of uh, time between episodes gathering up tin, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to to not have to do that during the episode and we can, you know, uh, focus on on actually crafting stuff and adventuring. So yeah, let's dump that in there. We'll go and switch to tin. And I do need the wood acid though. If I recall that was like sitting somewhere in here or here, hang on. Oh no, we, we actually have to make the wood acid, my bad. All right, well, let's actually do that. We need quite a few more wooden logs, though, to be able to get there, so... Um, I'm wondering whether or not we've got a bit of a stash. I may have... stolen all of our wooden logs before. We might have some sitting out over here, which I can simply take. But yeah, again, probably something that I could solve between episodes as well, so I, I should be able to cut down a few trees, uh, get some more wooden logs that way, and uh, hopefully by the time we come back in the next episode we'll have some tin bars to work with. Yeah, I think I should have at least some to get this started. Yeah, wood acid. It's working now. So, uh, let me just address our farm.
All right. We've got a lot of stuff on us now. Throw that in there, and... Yeah, I'm gonna probably need to sort out a whole bunch of other stuff here as well. Sugarcane. Would be nice if we could grow some sugarcane. Is that a thing? Sugarcane seedlings. Yes. Okay. So let's do that, and let's throw some more sugarcane in there so that we can make even more. Um, and... What about capsicum? Or bell peppers, excuse me. Yeah, we should be able to make this. Oh no, we do need fossilized bone dust. Um, fossilized bone. We have seen those big, sort of enormous looking bones out there in the pillars of creation. So I think I need to experiment by, you know, hitting on those things and seeing if I can actually get bone fragments or something from it. So, uh, I will do that, but probably not until the next episode. So yeah, I think we're about to call it here, guys, because, um, I may start incorporating a lot of, uh, the tedious stuff between episodes, including some of the farming as well. Um, so I'll, uh, you know, sow a lot more seeds between this episode and the next, and you'll get to see, uh, when we start what kind of things we're growing, but uh, for now, I think this is it. It's been a really, really good adventure, actually. I'm really happy about what we've done in this episode and where we've gotten up to, and I'm happy about uh, now having the uh, the smithing tools as well, so Oswald should be pretty happy about it as well. So, anyway, I think I'm signing out here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching as usual. Leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.